Do you believe that there are angels that influence your destiny and that of all humanity? And don't think I'm going to tell you about childish curly-haired angels. The angels to whom I raise this question are warrior angels, fierce in battles and very strong. Today, I will introduce you to this mystery of angelic figures so powerful that they are even capable of hiding between the lines of the Bible. If by chance you believe that you already know everything about these winged beings, believe me, you will want to reevaluate your beliefs. Stay tuned for the video as I will introduce you to an angel that you don't know exists and that upon meeting you, you will see the spiritual and celestial world in a totally different way. Stay with us until the end of the video, because what you will learn today is so surprising, it will change the way you think about angels. Let's start. The sacred scriptures show us that angels are beings that carry God's message, and are sent by the Father to minister to needs of divine categories, and to care for all who are faithful to the words of heavenly salvation. The Bible tells us that heaven is inhabited by multitudes of angels. The company of angels in heaven is countless, yet we are not so familiar with their names. Hebrews 12.22 Angels are celestial beings, meticulously created by God, and do not resemble humans in any way. Nor are they the disembodied spirits of humans, as some doctrines defend. We were made a little lower than the angels, and are not even of the same celestial sphere. Psalms 8-5 these elevated and winged beings were created even before Adam and Eve. And when the first couple sinned and were expelled from the Garden of Edom, it was an angel who, in supreme vigilance, prevented them from entering paradise again. Every angel, with the exception of the traitors who allied themselves with Lucifer in an attempt to dethrone the celestial, is a holy angel of God. Angels love the Father and blindly obey all of God's commandments. It is written in Psalms that there are several orders within the angelic class as well as a hierarchy. In the Bible, although angels are mentioned repeatedly, we only have four angels named, being fallen angels and sacred angels. We will analyze and learn about each of them and their functions in the celestial panorama, outlining the task assigned to each of them. The first and perhaps the most famous is the fearsome Lucifer, the fallen angel. In Isaiah 14-12, it is said that Lucifer was in heaven before his eventual fall, a result of his pride and having conspired against the Most High. We see in Isaiah 14-12-14 the following, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? As he was thrown to the ground, you are he who weakens nations, for you believed in your heart that he would ascend to heaven and leap with his throne above the stars of God, and also sit on the Mount of Congregation, and would be like the Most High. Lucifer, a dazzling figure who reigns
heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, but they did not prevail, and no place was found for them in heaven. Michael is the personification of divine resistance against pride and iniquity. His battle against Lucifer and his expulsion from heaven symbolize the victory of humility and justice over pride and rebellion. Michael's story is a chronicle of power, protection, and spiritual triumph. Intertwined with heavenly designs and the eternal struggle between good and evil. We will now talk about the angel Gabriel, a being shrouded in mystery and reverence, occupies a central place in biblical narratives, especially in the story of Christmas. This heavenly messenger, known to many through the sacred story of the Annunciation, brought Mary the transcendental news of her divine pregnancy and the imminent birth of Jesus. Gabriel, along with Michael, is one of the few angels named in the scriptures, being a figure of utmost importance in Christian theology. Gabriel, who is not explicitly named Archangel in the Bible like Michael, plays a significant role as the bearer of good news to God's servants. He appears to Zechariah, announcing the conception of John the Baptist, as described in Luke 1.11, and to Elizabeth, confirming the divine promise despite Zechariah's unbelief. Gabriel is a messenger of divine authority, acting as a link between the heavenly and the earthly, and symbolizes hope and the fulfillment of God's promises. In the narrative of Jesus' birth, Gabriel is crucial, especially in the Annunciation to Mary, where he prophesies the birth of Jesus, and to Joseph, clarifying the divine nature of Mary's conception. His appearances are marked by good news, reinforcing his image as a messenger of divine revelation. Culturally, Gabriel is seen as an angelic messenger, similar to the mythological Cupid, symbolizing good news and hope with a profound impact on humanity. Moving on to our last angel, a mysterious and lesser-known figure in the Bible's angelic pantheon, we meet Abaddon, or Apollyon, a fallen angel who remains enigmatic to most. His presence is revealed in the book of Revelation, the last of the New Testament, a book full of symbolism and revelations about the end of times. Abaddon, whose name resonates with dark overtones, is mentioned in Revelation 9-11 as the Angel of the Abyss. In Hebrew, his name is Abaddon, and in Greek, Apollyon, both translated as Destroyer. This figure is often overshadowed by better-known and celebrated angels such as Michael and Gabriel, but plays a unique role within the scope of the biblical narrative. In contrast to the traditional image of angels, Abaddon is described as the king of a swarm of locusts, an entity that emerges from the abyss to bring destruction. Some biblical commentators associate Abaddon with Satan, but a more cautious interpretation suggests that he may be one of the principalities or powers under the command of evil forces, as described in Ephesians 6.12. Abaddon represents a darker and more complex facet of the angelic world, being an agent of destruction and a ruler of the abyss. It symbolizes destructive power and the role that certain celestial entities play in eschatological events. This figure adds a layer of depth and mystery to the angelic universe, opening doors to a broader understanding of spirituality and biblical cosmology. This episode about Abaddon, like others exploring the angelic world, invites you on a journey of knowledge and spiritual discovery. Exploring these celestial entities allows us to probe the mysteries of the universe and human existence, contributing to continued spiritual growth and a deeper understanding of the world around us. At the end of our series on biblical angels such as Michael, Gabriel, and Abaddon, we hope to have encouraged your curiosity and interest in biblical narratives and mysteries. These angels symbolize various facets of spirituality and human experience. On the Biblical Tales channel, we are dedicated to highlighting the most striking stories, characters, and teachings from the Bible, seeking to inform, inspire, and promote deep reflections. We invite you, our viewers, to engage with us whether by commenting, sharing your thoughts, or subscribing and turning on notifications. Your participation is essential for the growth of our community, helping to explore spirituality and uncover biblical secrets. Share our videos to reach more people and contribute to the growth of the community. Each episode is a chance for learning and spiritual growth. Follow our next videos and continue with us on this journey of faith. 
At Biblical Tales, we value each story and each viewer is crucial on this journey. We are waiting for you in the next video, hoping that your spiritual journey is enlightened and enriching. Until the next video.